दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर ऑन इंडिपेंडेंट पार्टिकल मॉडल इन फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर ऑन इंडिपेंडेंट पार्टिकल मॉडल वी हैव अराइव एट सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट रिजल्ट एंड ट्राई टू फाइंड द मेजिक नंबर्स बट द लेक्चर वॉज नॉट कम्प्लीटेड बट इन दिस सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर which is actually the concluding lecture on independent particle model you will see that uh, we can successfully find the magic number or the number of nucleons in the closed cell by the concept of nuclear cell model <coughs> so before uh, starting this second part of lecture on independent particle model Uh, i have mentioned here the important results which we have seen in the first part of this lecture we have seen that uh, when we consider a three dimensional harmonic oscillator and write uh, schrodinger equation in cartesian coordinate then the energy eigen value en is found to be like this en equal to nx plus ny plus nz plus 3 by 2 times h bar omega and uh, i have assumed that uh, nx plus ny plus nz is equal to n where this total quantum number n is actually equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on we have seen this now we have also obtained a particular result that the number of neutron which i have denoted by the symbol n or the number of proton that can have a particular energy uh, state or energy level or that is equal to actually nn and that nn is equal to n plus 1 into n plus 2 and equivalently you have also seen if we want to find the number of neutron or proton of a particular energy we can uh, also find it by this manner we actually uh, right first of all the number of sets of the quantum numbers nx ny and nz and after that we multiply it by the number 2 here 2 is actually the number of two spin states and so these two are equivalent to one another so you can find the number of neutron or proton uh, <coughs> that can have a particular energy either by this result that is it is equal to n plus 1 into n plus 2 or you may find it by simply multiplying the number of sets of quantum numbers nx ny nz uh, multiplied by 2 and after that we have written the schrodinger equation in a spherical polar coordinate system and when we solve the schrodinger equation in a spherical polar coordinate in case of three dimensional harmonic oscillator potential then the energy eigen value comes out like this enl equal to 2n plus l plus 3 by 2 times h bar omega where n is equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on and this uh, quantum number l is also equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on so when you compare these two results that is en equal to this much and this energy eigen value equal to this much then you have obtained that actually this total quantum number n is equal to simply 2n plus l and so that the total number of uh, neutron or proton was found by this result summation over l 2 into 2l plus 1 in fact in this equation this number 2 comes due to the two spin states of our nucleons all these things you have seen in the first part of the lecture on independent particle model now uh, we will see the second part of this lecture uh, where we will successfully calculate the magic number so in fact uh, in this second part of lecture you will see that in nuclear cell model in a stead of the quantum number n we use another radial quantum number nr 
and this nr and n are related by this uh, relation nr is defined as n plus 1 and as you know n is equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on so nr will be what <coughs> nr will be 1 2 3 and so on because when you will add uh, 1 in 0 you will get 1 so every value of n will be increased by 1 so 0 will become 1 1 will become 2 2 will become 3 and so on okay again the total quantum number capital n which is equal to 2n plus l if you want to express this uh, total quantum number capital n in terms of the radial quantum number nr so you have to replace n here by nr minus 1 you can see n from this relation you can see that n is equal to nr minus 1 so here n is replaced by nr minus 1 and so that this capital n you can see will be equal to 2 nr uh, plus l and minus 2 so in terms of the radial quantum number nr and the orbital quantum number l this total quantum number capital n is expressed as 2 nr plus l minus 2 okay now the energy level of uh, a uh, oscillator potential uh, we represent uh, any energy level by two quantum numbers first one is nr and the second one is l and what are the energy level i have written it here so you should remember it in fact when you write n equal to 0 for this n equal to 0 the energy level is denoted by the symbol 1s in fact here this 1 denotes the radial quantum number nr so 1 is for nr and this letter s is actually the spectroscopic symbol for l you know when l is equal to 0 we denote it by the symbol s so in any uh, symbol the number denotes uh, the radial quantum number nr and the letter denotes the value of l so for n equal to 0 the energy level is denoted by 1s and for n equal to 1 this is 1p okay and for n equal to 2 the energy level is denoted by 1d2s now see this 1d2s has have been written inside a uh, bracket in fact this bracketed energy level uh, represents a degenerate energy level this is a degenerate energy level similarly for n equal to 3 the energy level is denoted by 1f and 2p okay and for n equal to 4 this these are the energy levels and similarly for n equal to 5 these are the energy levels and this represents actually n equal to 6 and this for n equal to 7 okay so only the n equal to 0 and n equal to 1 that is 1s and 1p energy levels are uh, non-degenerate and all other energy levels are degenerated okay and as i have told you these letters in the left side denote the value of nr and the spectroscopic symbol s p d f these actually represent the orbital quantum number l as you know these orbital quantum numbers l equal to 0 is denoted by the spectroscopic symbol s l equal to 1 is denoted by p similarly l equal to 2 is denoted by d l equal to 3 is denoted by f and so on so you can see how these uh, uh, 
orbital quantum numbers are denoted by the spectroscopic symbol okay now a, in a tabular form here we will present the number of proton and the number or the number of neutron which will occupied <coughs> by the oscillator state with total quantum number n now you can find it in the tabular form you will understand this table now see in the first column of this table i have written the value of this total quantum number capital n which i have written here 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay <coughs> so, yes i have not written here uh, n equal to 7 only up to n equal to 6 i have mentioned here now we will write in the second column the energy of uh, these quantum states in units of h bar omega it means uh, in the value of energy i have not written h bar omega this h bar omega sorry there is some problem here but it will be just removed you can see okay now it is okay so you can see when we will write the expression for energy then we will treat this h bar omega just as a unit so in fact all these numbers which i have mentioned it here uh, contain in fact h bar omega okay but i have not written that because h bar omega has been treated as a unit okay and how this energy value can be obtained you know i am just making this calculation here you can see when n is equal to 0 you know energy is equal to n plus 3 by 2 times h bar omega you know and uh, as n is equal to 0 so what will be this this is 0 plus 3 by 2 times h bar omega okay and so this energy comes out to be 3 by 2 h bar omega but see i have written here only 3 by 2 why because i have mentioned that uh, this h bar omega will be actually a common factor in all the energy terms so this h bar omega has been treated as a unit so only 3 by 2 has been written here okay similarly you can find the energy value when n is equal to 1 that will be 5 by 2 simply you have to write here in a stead of this 0 1 and 3 by 2 plus 1 that will become 5 by 2 yeah here will be 5 by 2 okay in the similar manner for n equal to 2 the energy value will be 7 by 2 h bar omega for 3 it will be 9 by 2 h bar omega for 4 it will be 11 by 2 h bar omega for 5 it will be 13 by 2 h bar omega and for 6 it will be 15 by 2 h bar omega you can check it okay so these are the energy eigen values for these quantum states okay now the orbitals uh, which are lying in these energy states i have mentioned earlier so you have seen that when n is equal to 0 the orbitals are 1s so here n r e for this n r is equal to 1 and l is equal to 0 because for s l is equal to 0 okay and for n equal to 2 there is uh, the orbitals 1p and so for for this 1p nr is equal to again 1 but l is equal to now 1 okay and for n equal to 2 you can see the orbitals are 1d and 2s remember 1d and 2s so in this case for 1d nr is equal to 1 and l is equal to 2 
and for 2s nr is equal to 2 and l is equal to 0 and in the similar manner you can see these uh, orbitals which are actually in these energy levels n equal to 3 4 5 and 6 okay now after getting the value of l you can now find what will be the number of neutron or proton which i have denoted here by nn and you have seen that this number of neutron or proton of a particular energy you can see the num the neutron or proton in this orbital 1s has a particular energy 3 by 2 and what is the number of such a neutron or proton from this formula you can find it 2 into 2l plus 1 2 into 2l plus 1 you can see you can check it uh, when we will use this relation this will be 2 into 2l l is 0 here as you can see a plus 1 so this will be simply 2 and so i have written here 2 similarly for 1p you can check what will be the number of neutron or proton uh, in the energy state having energy 5 by 2 h bar omega you can check it l is here 1 so this will be 2 into 2 into 1 plus 1 and what will be this this is 3 into 2 that is 6 so this is actually 6 okay and in 1d 2s how we will calculate the value of nn you can see actually for 1d we will write 2 into 2 into 2 plus 1 and plus for 2s what will be for 2s this will be 2 into 2 into 0 plus 1 now see this is 2 into 2 plus 1 that is 5 into 2 that will be 10 and plus this is 2 into 1 2 that will be equal to 12 so this is 12 you can see here okay in the similar manner you can find the number of neutron or proton present in the orbitals 1f and 2f and when you will calculate it you will see that this number will be equal to 20 and for these orbitals you will find it 30 for these orbitals you will find it 42 and for these orbitals you will find it 56 i, have, I am not calculating all these i have uh, uh, i have calculated uh, only some of these uh, for your convenience and you may try yourself okay can you calculate it or not this is a very simple calculus remember whenever there will be two or more orbitals you have used this sign of summation you have to use the summation as you can see here for 1d i have written this term and for 2s i have written this term and both terms are added then you get the total number of neutron or proton okay now i am just erasing these things because this is uh, the extra calculation here so let us see now i am erasing it see here now see in the same manner as i have told you you may try yourself to find the number of neutron and proton present in these energy levels now if you want to find the total number of neutron and proton what will be the total number of neutron and proton in this n equal to 0 level this is simply 2 so i have written here this sum as 2 now the sum of the total number of neutron and proton this will be 2 plus 6 that will be 8 now again we will uh, take the cumulative summation and that will be in fact uh, 8 plus 12 or you can say the sum of the uh, 2 6 and 12 that will be 20 
and after that the, the sum of uh, 2 6 12 and 20 that will be 40 in this manner you will get uh, after the cumulative summation these numbers 70 112 and 168 but uh, you can see this uh, these values 2 is a magic number 8 is also a magic number 20 is the magic number all these three numbers are the first three magic numbers but 40 70 112 and 168 these are actually not the magic numbers so in fact uh, the, the the concept which i have described just now is not sufficient to find all the uh, magic numbers correctly it is applicable only to get the first three magic numbers correctly and after these first three magic numbers we get the incorrect value so something uh, is wrong here uh, and something extra we uh, should consider uh, in this case and how we can arrive at the correct calculation of magic numbers now we will see in fact uh, if you want to find the correct magic numbers in all uh, for all correct magic numbers then you must consider another energy term or correction term in the expression of the energy in fact uh, when we uh, consider that the each energy level is split into some uh, other energy levels then a, an extra energy term is added in this uh, energy energy expression empirically this is just uh, an empirical relation you can see here this is e n l this is equal to n plus 3 by 2 h bar omega plus l times l plus 1 into d this is the correction term in fact why this correction term has been added uh, see here i have mentioned it here that the numbers in the last column should correspond to the closed cell nuclei and hence to the magic numbers but the discrepancy arises after first three cells further there is a degeneracy of states with different L values and empirically it is assumed that a level a split of different L orbitals with the energy given by this much. This is just empirical formula. Here the additional term L into L plus 1 D uh, is assumed that it uh, due to this term actually the energy states of the uh, orbital having larger a value of l is lowered it means the orbital for which l is larger that will be lower in energy state okay in fact uh, in this expression if you take the value of d equal to minus 0.0225 h bar omega then this result is satisfactory so empirically we take d equal to minus 0.0225 h bar omega since the value of d is a negative so you can see the after addition of this correction term actually the energy of the energy level is decreased it does not increase but it it is decreased okay but the addition of this correction term only removes the degeneracy with respect to L but it does not uh, uh, yield the correct magic number even after addition of this correction term you cannot find the correct value of the magic numbers so in fact to get the correct value of magic numbers now it is considered that uh, there is a spin orbit interaction and due to this spin orbit interaction 
we uh, a force will act between the nucleon and when we will consider that force under account then we will get the correct value of a magic number so initially this concept was uh, proposed by two famous scientists mayer and jensen and uh, mayer and jensen actually independently introduced this spin orbit uh, uh, interaction independently but uh, after uh, his proposition now at the present time it is believed that this spin orbit interaction uh, is due to a force which is known as tensor force between the nucleon nucleon interaction this is just a tensor force now after considering the spin orbit interaction what will be the correct expression for energy uh, eigen value we will see and before that we will, first of all we will consider the spin orbit interaction you know when the orbital angular momentum l and the spin angular momentum s get added vectorially then we get the total angular momentum of our particle so this j is actually the total angular momentum and this j is equal to l plus s okay and when you will consider a spin orbit interaction that in that condition l dot s is actually the coupling energy so from this result we have to find l dot s and for getting the value of l dot s let us take the scalar product of this equation j equal to l plus s by itself so what will be j dot j j dot j means l plus s dot l plus s now you can see here l dot l that will be l square s dot s that will be s square and plus l dot s a plus s dot l l dot s a plus s dot l but you know a scalar product is commutative so both of these will be same and this will be simply 2l dot s so i have written here 2l dot s and so 2l dot s will be equal to what this will be j square minus l square minus s square okay and hence l dot s will be 1 over 2 j square minus l square into s square but you know from quantum mechanics that the eigen value of uh, the operator j square is equal to what this is j into j plus 1 into h bar square similarly the eigen value of l square is l into l plus 1 into h bar square and that of s square is s into s plus 1 into h bar square so i have taken here this h bar square as a common factor so j square l square and s square have been replaced by these terms you can see here now this h square may be taken or may be treated as a unit so if you treat this h bar square as a unit then you can simply say that this l dot s is equal to 1 over 2 j times j plus 1 minus l times l plus 1 now since the spin quantum number s has a fixed value 1 by 2 for nucleons either for neutron or for proton s is equal to 1 by 2 both are half spin particle so s has a fixed value so you can replace this s by simply 1 by 2 so this is 1 by 2 times 1 by 2 plus 1 now you have studied uh, in the quantum mechanics that this j may be equal to l plus minus s this j is equal to in general l plus minus s but when l is equal to 0 then we consider only the positive sign that is then only j is equal to l plus s not a minus s but 
एक्सेप्ट एल इक्वल टू जीरो वी ऑलवेज टेक जे इक्वल टू एल प्लस माइनस एस ओके सो इन दिस इक्वेशन वेन यू विल टेक जे इज इक्वल टू एल प्लस एस इट मीन्स एल प्लस हाफ देन इन दिस इक्वेशन दिस जे विल बी रिप्लेस्ड बाय एल प्लस हाफ सो दिस विल बी एल प्लस हाफ टाइम्स एल प्लस हाफ प्लस वन माइनस एल इन टू एल प्लस वन अ माइनस दिस मच एंड वेन यू विल सिंप्लीफाई इट वॉट विल बी योर रिजल्ट यू कैन सी वेन वी टेक जे इक्वल टू एल प्लस एस दैट इज एल प्लस हाफ देन आफ्टर सोल्यूशन आफ्टर सिंप्लीफिकेशन यू कैन से आई हैव नॉट सिंप्लीफाइड इट हेयर दैट इज अ सिंपल अलजेबरा यू कैन सिंप्लीफाई इट एंड यू विल फाइंड that when j is equal to l plus half then this coupling term l dot s is equal to half l but when we consider that j is equal to l minus s that is l minus half then that comes out to be minus half into l plus 1 okay so l dot s may have two values one is 1 by 2 l and another is minus 1 by 2 into l plus 1 and those values are for j equal to l plus half and j equal to l minus half okay so now from uh, you can see if you consider this spin orbit coupling term l dot s then actually these have two values and so we simply say that the spin orbit interaction removes the degeneracy of the level with respect to a spin and from this equation 4 you can see that the spacing between the two energy levels j equal to l plus half and j equal to l minus half this is actually j equal to l minus half level and this is j equal to l plus half level in fact uh, larger value of j represents the lower energy state and the energy spacing between these two levels is directly proportional to 2l plus 1 into vso actually this vso is a spin orbit potential s for spin and o for orbit spin orbit potential okay the this separation between these two energy levels is directly proportional to 2l plus 1 times vso okay and this vso is defined like this vso equal to minus 1 over r del v by del r times l dot s okay but in case of the harmonic oscillator potential it is found that this potential function v is of the order of r square this is just of the order of r so in this equation you may replace v simply by r square if you consider the harmonic oscillator potential so when we consider v equal to r square what will be this term 1 over r del v by del r you can see this is 1 by r del del r r square okay and that will be 1 over r 2r now this r and r will cancel out and this is almost equal to 2 and 2 is a constant so you can say that in case of the harmonic oscillator potential this spin orbit potential vso is constant it is constant and uh, you can see that i have used here the negative sign what that this negative sign refers actually actually this negative sign in this expression refers that the energy level for which j is larger for for you can say, example you can see j equal to l plus half and j equal to l minus half j is larger in case of j equal to l plus half and the level for which j is larger that is a smaller in energy so this negative sign actually uh, in expression 5 uh, represents that 
द एनर्जी लेवल विथ हायर जे हैज लोअर एनर्जी ओके हायर जे मीन्स लोअर एनर्जी ओके नाउ वेन दिस स्पिन ऑर्बिट इंटरेक्शन इज कंसिडर्ड देन इट इज फाउंड एम्पेरिकली एम्पेरिकली मीन्स द रिजल्ट इज ऑबटेंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिजल्ट वाट द एक्सपेरिमेंट सेज वी आर गाइडेड बाय द एक्सपेरिमेंटल डेटा एंड एड सम टर्म सो दैट द एक्सपेरिमेंटल डेटा विल बी सेटिस्फाइड दैट दैट एक्सप्रेशन इज कॉल्ड एम्पेरिकल एक्सप्रेशन सो to satisfy the experimental result we write the en- energy expression like this e equal to n plus 3 by 2 h bar omega this is actually the main energy of the harmonic oscillator and when we have considered the en- the a correction term to remove the degeneracy for l then we have added actually l into l plus 1 d and up af- even after adding this term we have seen that the correct calculation of magic number was not possible only the first three magic number was calculated correctly and the higher magic numbers are cannot be calculated then you have considered there is a spin orbit interaction and if you now add the add the energy term due to the spin orbit uh, uh, interaction in this en- energy term then you will get actually the correct energy levels for which you will get the correct value of uh, magic numbers so this uh, term c do- c times l dot c is a constant this is actually due to the spin orbit interaction in fact uh, this energy expression is the correct energy expression after considering the spin orbit interaction into account and then you will see that when we consider this energy expression then the correct evaluation of magic number is possible you will see in fact as i have told you earlier that uh, the value of d when we take minus 0.0225 h bar omega then we get the correct value and just like that c is taken 0 minus 0.1 h bar omega these two values of c and d actually when taken then the correct expression for energy is obtained which is, which actually fits in the experimental data okay now the calculation of magic number on the basis of this energy term uh, can be done which i have mentioned here in this table now see how uh, the di- what are the different energy states or orbitals and what will be the number of proton or number of neutron in a particular energy level when we consider the spin orbit interaction into account and what will be the total number of neutron or proton which will be equal to magic number actually i have calculated these magic numbers on the basis of this uh, independent particle model uh, in by two techniques one in this tabular form and after that we will see actually the energy level diagram of for the harmonic oscillator potential when we consider the two correction terms two correction terms first one was due to the coefficient d and another was due to the coefficient c as you have seen due to spin orbit interaction and uh, then you will see again the same calculation so see here this table i have mentioned here the in first column the cell number this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and in uh, first cell the quantum state is denoted by 1s half remember this subscript half is actually the value of j this half represents value of j and one this is the value of nr you can see as the this s symbol represents l equal to 0 so when l equal to 0 you know 
j is equal to 0 plus half not 0 minus half so j will be equal to 1 by 2 so this energy level is 1 s half this is not in fact uh, non degenerate there is only one energy level in this uh, first cell okay and uh, what will be the number of proton or neutron in this cell this number is obtained by 2j plus 1 because for a given value of j there will be 2j plus 1 quantum states so j is since half so what will be 2j plus 1 2 into half plus 1 that will be 2 so the number of proton or neutron in first cell is 2 okay and now in second cell there are actual this second cell is degenerate there are two energy states in this cell one is 1 p 3 by 2 and another is 1 p half actually there was only 1 p but for p you know l is equal to what l is equal to 1 and when l is 1 then j will be what l plus half that is 1 plus half that will be 3 by 2 and uh, another will be 1 minus half that will be half so actually this is a degenerate energy state and uh, we have two degenerated energy levels 1p 3 by 2 and 1p half 1p 3 by 2 will be a, a be the lower energy level with respect to the 1p half because we have seen that for a smaller value of j energy level is higher okay and uh, what will be the number of neutron or proton in these energy states you can see in 1p 3 by 2 since j is equal to 3 by 2 so what will be 2j plus 1 you can see 2j plus 1 2 into j j is 3 by 2 see here and plus 1 2 and 2 will cancel out this will be equal to 4 so you can see in 1p 3 by 2 uh, state the number of proton or neutron is 4 and another is 1p half uh, so j is half and what will be the number 2 into half plus 1 and this will be 2 so you can see this is 2 so in this uh, second cell the number total number of proton will be 4 plus 2 that is 6 but if you want to find the total number of proton and neutron you have to add these two and that will be equal to 8 okay in the similar manner you can see in the third cell there are actually three energy states 1d 5 by 2 1 s half sorry 2 s half and 1 d 3 by 2 okay now you can calculate what will be the number here j is 5 by 2 then 2 j plus 1 will be what j is 5 by 2 2j plus 1 this will be actually 6 here j is 1 by 2 so 2j plus 1 will be 2 here j is 3 by 2 so 2j plus 1 will be 4 so in this third cell the number of proton or neutron is what this is 6 plus 2 plus 4 that is 12 now the accumulate the cumulative sum will be what this 12 plus 8 will be added and that will be equal to 20 you have to add this 8 and 12 that will be 20 okay in the similar manner uh, it, it will be in fact not uh, any importance that uh, uh, I will talk about all the cells you can now uh, you are now familiar how to calculate the number of neutron or proton in the given energy state so remember these energy states and calculate the number of proton and neutron and after adding you will get the magic number so you can see in fourth cell there is only one energy state this is actually non-degenerate this is 1 f 7 by 2 and if it is j is 7 by 2 2 j plus 1 will be 8 so when this 8 will be added in this 20 we will get the number 28 okay 
in fifth cell you can see these are the energy states and corresponding to these states the number of protons or neutron will be 4 6 2 and 10 and sum of these is 20 and when you will add this 22 and when you will add this 22 in 28 you will get 50 okay again in sixth cell you can see these are the energy states and uh, number of neutron or proton present in them you can see will be what for 7 by 2 this will be 8 for 5 by 2 this will be 6 for 3 by 2 this will be 4 for j equal to 1 by 2 this will be 2 and for j 11 by 2 this will be 12 and some of these are 32 now add this 32 in 50 that will be 82 and in seventh cell these are the different energy states and these are the number of protons or neutrons and whose sum is 44 and when you will add 44 in 82 you will get 126 what are you seeing you can see these 2 8 20 28 50 82 and 126 are nothing these are simply the magic numbers so you can see after taking the spin orbit interaction into account when you find the energy states or the quantum states in a given cell then the correct calculation of the magic number is possible so this independent particle model gives the clear picture of the cell model only when we take the spin orbit interaction which is due to some tensor force into account okay now the same thing you can see uh, from this energy level scheme same thing is repeated in the first trick, uh, case you have seen these things in tabular form and here in as an energy level scheme i have shown the same thing so you can see i have mentioned here this uh, total quantum number n and uh, energy value which will be n plus 3 by 2 h bar omega and uh, the first correction term to remove the degeneracy due to l which is l into l plus 1 d and then after taking the spin orbit interaction you know these energy states are splitted and uh, that splitted level will be due to this term c times l dot s and then we write the uh, energy states by the quantum numbers nr and l l is denoted by the spectroscopic symbol nr l j j j as a subscript can see here and we will write nr which is denoted by the number l which is denoted by the spectroscopic symbol sp df and so on and after that we write uh, as a subscript the value of j okay now see for n equal to 0 n equal to 0 this is the energy level by this this horizontal line actually represents the n equal to 0 energy level whose energy can be found by this formula which will be 3 by 2 h bar omega and when we consider this correction term l into l plus 1 d the energy level does not shifted it is it remains same and it is denoted by 1 s and this 1 s is uh, in fact uh, non-degenerate even taking the spin orbit interaction into account so this energy level remains same and for this the n the value of nr is 1 and l is 0 and for 0 we will write s and j is 1 by 2 j is 1 by 2 and what will be the number of uh, proton or neutron that number of neutron or proton will be denoted by uh, will be equal to 2j plus 1 so I have written here the value of 2j plus 1. Since j is 1 by 2 here, so 2j plus 1 will be 2. And the total number, that is magic number, will be equal to 
टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नाउ वेन एन इज इक्वल टू वन देन दिस टर्म एल इन टू एल प्लस वन इन टू डी डज नॉट मेक एनी चेंज इन दिस एनर्जी लेवल सो दिस रिमेंस वन पी बट वेन वी कंसिडर द स्पिन ऑर्बिट इंटरेक्शन इन टू अकाउंट दिस वन पी एनर्जी लेवल इज स्प्लिटेड इन टू टू एनर्जी लेवल्स एंड यू कैन सी हियर द फर्स्ट वन इज वन पी थ्री बाई टू एंड एनदर इज वन पी वन बाई टू ओके एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू अर्लियर दैट द एनर्जी लेवल फॉर विच जे इज लार्जर दैट इज लोअर इन एनर्जी सो यू कैन सी हियर इनफैक्ट this is uh, the direction in which energy increases so 1p 3 by 2 is uh, in the lower side of 1p half okay and uh, what will be the number of uh, neutron or proton in this uh, energy level 1p 3 by 2 this will be 2j plus 1 so 2 times 3 by 2 plus 1 that will be 4 and j is here 1 by 2 so 2j plus 1 will be 2 so the total number of neutron or proton in this energy level you can say 1p or 1 this is equal to 6 and what will be the magic number or total number of neutron and proton you have to add these 6 and 2 and that will be equal to 8 okay now when n is equal to 2 then when you will you will take this uh, correction term l into l plus 1 into d this energy level is uh, split into two energy levels and uh, these are 2s and 1d and when a spin orbit interaction is taken into a account then this 2s does not uh, splits this remains same but this 1d is splitted into two energy levels the first level is 1d 5 by 2 and another is 1d 3 by 2 this is due to the spin orbit interaction now you can find the number of neutron or proton here j is 5 by 2 so 2j plus 1 will be 6 here j is half so 2j plus 1 will be 2 Here j is three by two, so two j plus one will be four. So add this four plus two plus six, this will be in fact twelve. And uh, now this eight will be added in twelve, and we get this eight is added in twelve, and we get the magic number twenty. Okay, this is twenty. Now for n equal to three, when we consider this. Uh, a correction term l into l plus 1d this is splitted into two energy levels 2p and 1f okay and after the spin orbit interaction this 2p level is splitted again into further two levels one is 2p half and another is 2p 3 by 2 and this 1f is splitted into 1f 5 by 2 and this 1f 3 by 2 remember this 1 uh, so 1f 7 by 2 1f 7 by 2 is not in this cell its energy is uh, lower than the energy of the neutron or proton in n equal to 3 so this is a separate energy level okay so now this Uh, and number of neutron or proton in this energy level will be what 2j plus 1 j is 7 by 2 so this will be 8 and now add this 8 into this 20 you will get the another magic number 28 okay and now in these uh, energy levels you can see for n equal to 4 the one splitted level 1g And nine by two is also in the uh, energy range of this n equal to three, and so the total number of neutron and proton will be here twenty. And when you will add this, sorry, twenty two, twenty two and twenty eight, you will get fifty, which is a magic number. In the similar manner, you make the calculation. You can see here for n equal to four, n equal to five, and n equal to six. and then you will get again 
the magic number 82 and 126 i am not uh, telling all these things here all numbers i have been mentioned by using the formula 2j plus 1 and then you will add 50 and 32 which will result in 82 and then this 82 will be added in this 44 and you will get actually 126 so you can see in by the cell model taking the independent particle model and taking the spin orbit interaction into account it is possible to find the correct magic number so you can say that cell model is just uh, the evidence for the magic number or magic nuclei so i hope you have understand this lecture and uh, definitely you should watch it seriously and practice it to make the energy level diagram you have to make it practice in the examination like civil services or even in university examination of msc level or bsc level you find that the question is asked to deal with the independent particle model and how the how the magic number can be obtained by taking the spin orbit interaction into account so i hope you have enjoyed this lecture and now in the fourth coming lecture we will see some of the important predictions of this nuclear cell model